so I just got back from the gym and now I'm gonna write my thesis and cook at the same time so this is a day actually a night in the life of a PhD student so I'm in the final stages of writing my thesis and I love to eat healthy so I have to prep meals and I am so hungry <laughs> that I eat a lot as well on this vlog you're gonna see me cooking and writing my thesis at the same time so you know multitasking is the way of life I guess so for anybody who's writing their own thesis I have I think I have three really important tips I think the first tip I would give somebody who's in a similar position who is closing towards completing their PhD program or their master's program or any program for which they have to write a thesis I think my number one tip would be give yourself plenty of time I feel that writing a thesis is um, kind of like say losing weight or something if you want to try to lose weight in the last two weeks you're gonna have to starve yourself and you it's not gonna be healthy just like that if you have like a thesis submission say three months later like write every day like chip at it you know what I mean do not write in the last two weeks that's just not gonna work second tip that I have is and I think this is really important too. Somebody who's graduated from your program, get their thesis and get an idea of like how they wrote it or like how many pages it is, you know? Um, like what's the page requirement like? Like how many pages do you think you would write for your thesis? Like get an idea of what a thesis actually is like. And don't get me wrong, a thesis, I mean your thesis is gonna be a synthesis of your ideas. So when you get somebody's thesis, just get an idea of like how they, formatted it and stuff you know it will really help though it will give you an idea of like what's expected from you and I think the third tip I have is on the similar lines like from your graduate college or undergraduate college like you know consult them and get a template of what a thesis uh, document would is like like do not just open a blank word document and start writing it most graduate colleges on their website or undergraduate colleges on their website have a template thing that you can download and start writing like it's formatted already so you need to just start writing you know um, do not reinvent the wheel is basically my third point like do not uh, put in the extra effort that you don't really have to put in like why do something that's just taking away your extra time yeah, so I think those are my three really important tips um, for somebody who's also writing the thesis just like I am. So I'm gonna start working on my thesis first because it just like I really want an idea in my head of what I'm writing with tonight. And then once I work on it for a bit, like writing two or, write two or three pages, then I'm gonna go back and like we're gonna cook a little, but let's write our thesis first. Yay! <laughs> Okay, I think I need a break now. I think my brain's kind of saturated with ideas and I wrote about like two and a half pages. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of pages, but yeah, for me, it's a lot of pages. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break and by break, I mean I'm gonna cook pasta for tomorrow. So let's cook some pasta. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. Um, this is my pan with all the water that's gonna boil again this is my pasta it's a whole wheat spaghetti and if I didn't already show you the sauce or you didn't see it this is the pumpkin sauce um, it's a pumpkin chipotle pasta sauce I really like it I think I I'm kind of sick of marinara okay so now that we have the spaghetti and the chipotle sauce like we know what we're gonna do with that um, let's talk about the vegetables. So I have these organic rainbow baby cut carrots. They're called sweet babies, but they're really nice and they're like different colors. I really like carrots in my pasta. So my water is boiling. I'm just gonna add the pasta. My veggies are cut. While the pasta is boiling, a fun fact about me is that I can sing 
The whole Nicki Minaj verse from this song Pull up in a monster automobile gangster With a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka Yeah, I'm in the tanka color of Willy Wonka You could be the king and watch the queen First thing first I eat your brain Then I'ma start rocking gold teeth and tanks Cause that's what a motherfucking monster do He a dresser for Milan, that's a monster do Monster just to be healed, that's a monster shoe Young money is the roster and the monster crew And I'm all up all up all up in the bank with my funny face And I'm a fake I'm a motherfucking monster! I love this song. So my pasta is cooked. Some people like to like blanch their carrots and stuff. Like I don't do that. I kinda like the crunch so F that. I'm just like cooking my vegetables. I wanna add some oregano. I have Italian seasoning. Pasta, Italian. I should add some salt. Actually, I love that sauce. So I have two of the pumpkin sauce. Double fisting. And then the final ingredient. Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna grate a bunch of Parmesan. I love cheese. I can eat Parmesan just like chunks. Like, not kidding. But I'm gonna grate some Parmesan and then I'm done. With my pasta. So, yeah. Um, this was really fun, but I'm gonna do like a whole day in the life kind of thing I just wanted to do like a quick Video where I show you like what I do when I come back from like the gym after my work. I hope you guys like what I make Bye